Hello and thanks for joining me for another landscape photography outing. Today we're on the coast of Anglesey in a little cove called Port Sutan or Church Bay. Now truth be told, this particular venue is very much a plan B because at sunrise this morning I was up in the Ogwin Valley with every intention of climbing to the summit of Penarolwen. Unfortunately the weather conspired against me. I had to contend with torrential rain, 40 knot winds and zero visibility. Now of course I could have manned up and made it to the summit anyway, but you wouldn't have been able to see me and there'd have been no photography at all. Anyway, as plan B's go, this really isn't too bad an option. It's a lovely little west-facing cove, and during the summer it's absolutely heaving with visitors, so I'd avoid it like the plague. But we're right on midwinter at the moment, and it's absolutely perfect. We're sheltered down here out of the prevailing wind, which makes it quite a comfortable place to be. And also at this time of year, what we're going to have is a sunset immediately behind Hollyhead Mountain. So I'm hopeful that by that time of the afternoon, the tide will have gone out far enough so that I can get a decent line of sight. That remains to be seen. But in the meantime, we're not short of subject material for some landscape photography. We've got wet sand, we've got rocks, we've got surf and some interesting detail in the sky to play with. I'm really sorry if the audio's bad. Unfortunately, I've got the wind right in my face and there really isn't much I can do about it. I've been struggling for the last hour or so. I'm kind of running out of light now. The sun has only just dropped down below a high bank of cloud. So I'm now getting something I can work with. I've got a really difficult shot here, but I quite like it and it's to do with the really intense bright light from the low sun and also the reflection off the wet sand. As you can imagine from an exposure standpoint that's a complete nightmare. So what I'm doing with this shot is I'm using a one and a half stop bracket and a three image focus stack shooting at about uh, 20 millimeters. I wanted this piece of kelp that's just sticking out of the beach as my foreground and then the rest of the image leads you right through to Hollyhead Mountain. There's loads of really nice texture in the sky but it's intensely difficult and I'll be absolutely astounded if this image amounts to anything. As ever on a day with lots of cloud in the sky and patchy light it's a waiting game. But when the sun hits those lovely golden cliffs over there with a few little patches of autumn colour, even this late in the year, still remaining on the cliff tops, it looks absolutely fabulous. So what I've done is I've encompassed it all in a completely bog standard coastal photography image. I've got a lovely piece of orangey red rock in the foreground to anchor the corner of the shot. 
I've then got some wet sand that's reflecting those cliffs, a few more of those nice orangey red rocks, and then a bit of surf. And I've got it quite wide, so I'm including the headland. I'll probably zoom in in a little while and try and get some more detail as the surface hitting the rocks. But for this particular image, I'm just waiting for a bit more light to get a couple more exposures. One of the things about the way I tend to approach photography is that once I've got my composition sorted out and I've nailed down my exposure, my focus and all those sorts of things, the next thing then is to take lots and lots of shots because you never know which one's going to give you that perfect light, that perfect bit of detail, sky, water, whatever it may be that's changing in the composition, you just never know. And the point is that it doesn't matter if I take 50 or 100 shots while I'm here because it means that then I've got some choice to work with when I get back. Even if just one of those is, is worth the price of admission, then it will have been a success. Well, the light has been in and out for the last half hour or so, but I'm having a fabulous time picking out all sorts of bits of detail on this beach and these rocks got some fabulous colours in them, real deep reds and bright pinks, really interesting stuff. And what I've been doing when the sun's behind a cloud and the light level drops is to use a three-stop ND filter uh, in conjunction with my 0.9 soft grad, get the shutter speed up to around six or eight seconds, something like that and then isolate some of these rocks in the surf. Looks quite good on the back of the camera, remains to be seen how it works out in post, but really enjoy myself down here. I've got to say, it's the last Saturday before Christmas. Go shopping for those last minute bargains, or go out to a beach and take some pictures. Well, I think I managed to get a couple of shots off before the light went, but it died as if somebody had thrown a switch. You kind of get a sixth sense for these sort of things when you do as much landscape photography as I do. I'm always shooting sunsets on the island because they're usually quite spectacular as the sun hits the horizon over the Irish Sea. But tonight kind of caught me by surprise, so I'm not sure if I've got anything. Anyway, time to head home I think I'm getting pretty cold I've had a fabulous afternoon I've had terrible light I've had variable light I had about 45 minutes of amazing light and then I don't know remains to be seen if I got anything worthwhile on this final image but thank you ever so much for joining me and also thank you for your support throughout 2018 I think on my next video I'll just do a little roundup of my personal favourite highlights of this year before we go into 2019 and I've got some ideas for some things I might do during next year. Hopefully that'll keep you entertained. So I'll say thank you ever so much for tuning in as ever. I really appreciate your encouragement and support. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you haven't done it yet, why not subscribe now and join me next time? Cheers. <laughs>